Sight reading is a collaboration between the Morgan and the George Eastman Museum in Rochester. Most of the 85 works in the exhibition come from the Eastman Museum's collections. The exhibition explores some of the many ways photographs can be read and how the camera has turned the world into a legible place. In 1844, writing in the first photographic publication, The Pencil of Nature, the inventor William Henry Fox Talbot speculated about some of the uses photographs might serve in the future. He included a very basic documentary function, inventorying the objects in a collection. In Talbot's time, documenting an object meant writing out a detailed description of it. The idea of a legally reliable visual record was new. Over the next 170 years, the camera went on to take stock of many things far beyond the reach of words, from events too fast for the eye to perceive to ground conditions on the surface of the moon. In 1920, the progressive activist Lewis Hine knew that if he wanted a photograph to convey a political message, he had to edit it as carefully as a politician writing a speech. The Eastman Museum owns many versions of this iconic photograph. Hine printed and cropped it dozens of ways, looking for the single most powerful way one picture could say, labor is the basis of industry, of wealth, of America. When we read a sequence of photographs, we fill in the gaps between them without even thinking about it. That's what the artist John Fall relies on in this sequence from his series Altered Landscapes. It appears to show a single wave breaking on the rocks, but look closely at the foreground. Between each exposure, Fall stepped away from his camera to rewrite the number on the rock. Whatever else it is, this sequence is no straightforward document of passing time. In her sorted books, photographs, Nina Kachadorian combines book titles to reflect on various topics, in this case, the fate of land in American history. Read the photograph from left to right, and it might seem like a purely verbal exercise, but what makes this rather dark joke effective is that it's being told by these artful, turn-of-the-century book covers, which are themselves a part of the history they're commenting on. As image-making technology changes, our visual literacy evolves right along with it. The X-ray was introduced in 1896. Within a year, it shows up in advertisements, cartoons, and artistic renderings of all sorts of subjects. Today, the pixel is an inescapable visual meme in daily life. Jonathan Lewis used it to reproduce the Beatles' album covers at super low resolution, just one pixel per inch. Seen close up, each image is totally abstract, but step back, look at the whole series, and you'll see just how fluent you are in pixelese. A photograph is a piece of paper. Like any manuscript, it's subject to revision. In 1920, after photographing these 60 surgeons, the artist asked each of them to sign the negative. It makes for a double portrait of the group's character through faces and autographs. Today, on social media, nothing is more common than a picture that says, hey world, here I am, but it didn't begin with the selfie stick. These snapshots, all captioned me, date from the 1920s to the 1960s. Photographs have rewritten the way we perceive ourselves and our world, and their history will read differently to every new generation.